Go. Hi, children. My name is Miss Tammy, and this week we're going to be studying the librarian. I was wondering what science experiment could I do that has to do with the librarian? And then I thought, she has to read books a lot during the day, and maybe some of the print might get a little too small. She might want a magnifying glass. And I found an experiment where you can make your own magnifying glass. First, you take a square, something like this. This square I cut out of a cereal box. You can also cut them out of a 3 by 5 card. Well, I now need another square in the middle. So I'm going to fold it. I'm going to make a cut. And now I can put my scissors in there. And away I go. I cut and cut. And when I'm done, it's going to look something like a picture frame. So there we go. Now it looks a little bit like a picture frame. The next thing I'm going to do is take something called plastic wrap. It comes in a box like this. I'm going to tear off a piece and I'm going to put it over my square. And then I can tape it in place on the back. I'm not done yet. The next thing we need to do is get a cup with water. And I need an eyedropper, but I don't have one. So I made my own. I took a straw and I cut it so it's not too big. Now, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put my finger on the top. you got to hold it real tight. I'm going to lift it. Don't let go. I'm going to put it right on top of our magnifying glass. And now I am ready to see if I can make the letters bigger. Are you ready? All right, cameraman. Let's see if we can see some bigger letters. You can come in nice and close. Does that look bigger? Yeah. All right. Good job. We know how to make a magnifying glass. I have one more thing I want to show you guys. You know what? Librarians are smart. Oh, they are so smart. They read so much. Did you know that paper comes from a plant? It's a tree. Now, this is my paper flower. I made a circle. I made petals. And I cut it out. It doesn't have to be fancy. But did you know that plants, when they want their water, they have little tubes inside and it sucks the water right up. If you took a wilting flower, its petals are droopy, and you gave it a drink, it would suck it up and it would just pop right open like that. Well, this is a fun trick. I'm going to fold in my petals. I'm going to pretend it's just droopy. I'm not going to push really tight. I'm going to push them in, push them in, push them in, push them in. Now I'm pretending my flower is sad and droopy. I'm going to give it a drink. When I give it a drink, it's going to pop up its petals. All right, cameraman, get really close because it happens fast. I have my dish of water. Here goes my flower. Watch it drink. Oh, my, oh, my. <sighs> wow. Did you see that, kids? That's pretty cool. What a way to give a flower a drink of water. All right, that's all for today. Hope you had fun with science. Bye-bye.